Welcome to the Good News Channel, your daily dosage of good news. Did you know the US almost switched to the metric system as the rest of the world adopted? What if I told you the United States was this close to measuring everything in meters, liters, and kilograms? In the 1970s, America launched a serious plan to switch to the metric system, and for a brief moment, it looked like the change was unstoppable. Why even switch? Because the metric system is simpler, universal, and more logical. It's based entirely on units of 10, making conversions easy. 1,000 meters in a kilometer, 1,000 grams in a kilogram. No memorizing 12 inches in a foot or 16 ounces in a pound. It's the standard for science, medicine, engineering, and international trade, meaning U.S. companies and researchers were constantly converting back and forth just to stay compatible. Most of the world adopted it during the 18th and 19th centuries, starting with France after the French Revolution. It spread fast because it was consistent, efficient, and modern, the perfect fit for industrializing nations. In 1975, the U.S. tried to catch up. Congress passed the Metric Conversion Act, declaring metric the preferred system of weights and measures. A national board was formed. Textbooks were updated. Road signs were designed in kilometers. Some schools even began teaching kids in Celsius. But there was a catch. The switch was voluntary. No enforcement. No hard deadlines. Just suggestions. Then the backlash came. People didn't want to relearn cooking measurements or convert their speedometers. Politicians called it un-American. By the early 1980s, the effort collapsed. The metric board was disbanded, and the U.S. quietly walked away. Today, America stands almost alone, one of just three countries that haven't fully switched to metric. It didn't fail because it wouldn't work. It failed because no one had the guts to make it mandatory. Subscribe to the Good News Channel for daily good news stories.